morning. Pastor Rob here. On my way to gym uh, and to the hospital. Uh, man, the world's a crazy place, isn't it? I was uh, just thinking today, you know, how many people are hurting and uh, how many struggles people are going through and uh, how important it is that uh, in order to be successful in this world and uh, we have to look out for each other. We have to turn off the narratives and the <clears throat> The labelings and the and the racist stuff that's going on and people are being <clears throat> basically identified by culture or skin color sexual preference whatever but what we have to remember is we've been made in the image of God and as I taught this uh, Sunday on Exodus 17 it's we're in a war you know we're in a war for the souls of, uh, of human beings for the hearts of the people of this world and um, how it's God's will that all men would come to saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. He doesn't want anybody to perish. He wants all to come to repentance and know him. And, but we're all in a battle. And life can be difficult. Challenges are going to come. And in Exodus 17, um, Moses was given the order by God to go out and fight the Amalekites. He handed that order down to Joshua. And Joshua went out. And the, and the Bible says that as long as... Moses was on the hill and raised his hands towards heaven they would win the battle but Moses was a human being and he got tired but he had two guys by his side one on his left and one on his right and I said well, man we all need the person on our right and our left that we can trust and that cares for us and it was it was Aaron and her was their names and when Moses got tired his arms came down and they began to lose the war Joshua's men would be defeated they'd be driven back but when her and Aaron saw that they gave Moses a place to sit and they raised his arms one on the left and one on the right and it kind of just breaks makes me want to cry to think that he had somebody that close to so in tune with what he was going through and so caring about the mission that God had given him he had two men one on his right and one on his left to lift his arms up when he got tired and I think that's what we're missing in the world today we're so consumed and distracted by our own wants desires and well maybe it's not us or everybody but certainly the world is very narcissistic we're worried about our small little portion of the world and we're not we're just running over other people to get what we want and I I think it's so important that when Moses got tired he had two men there to lift his arms up and when they lifted his arms up they began to win the war and because they lifted his arms up they won the war it's so important today that we lift each other up in prayer lift our arms up, recognize the needs in others, not maybe ours aren't so bad when we look at the needs of others, and just lift each other up specifically in prayer. And Billy Graham said, heaven is full of answers to prayers that have never been prayed. Maybe you can be the one today to pray for somebody else that doesn't know how to pray or forgets to pray or whatever it is. We're all human, right? But pray for that person and God can make a difference. I heard another preacher say one time, he said, the biggest mistake Christians make we don't pray enough so just today my thought is let's lift each other up let's be on the right and left of somebody else that may need to and I think today my friend his daughter jumped out of a car and she's in the hospital with head trauma and it just really breaks my heart to think that she's that desperate in this world to maybe try to get her way out but uh, let's pray today pray for that person and pray for that family and uh, let's lift one another up today. When we lift each other up, we win the war. In Jesus' name.